be Monday, but don't worry about it. Cheer and la la lo then. Spencer, how you doing today? I'm doing great. You're jacked up. Oh, said espresso. It is an espresso. Nothing shot. else. It's definitely just the espresso shot this morning. I know I did have my engagement party this weekend, but that crazy is over. Making and an honest man out of you. We're trying to make an honest man out of me. I don't know how it works, but hopefully it's like symbiosis or some shit like that. I think that's the word. I think that's the word. <laughs> Metamorphosis? Like, yeah, I don't know. Something like Death that. Death of a salesman? One of those. Is that something? Yeah, we're just going to throw shit in the wall and eventually one of those things is going to stick. How you doing today, buddy? Good. We got a helicopter flying over. Probably those goddamn fires. Took Probably me eight up. hours to get to Vegas because of those fires. And you also left at a Friday at 1.30. We're not going to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, so that also falls squarely on your shoulders. It was the fires. Even if it wasn't their fires, you'd, it was taking six hours. So you, word to the wise, don't ever do that again. Fires. Whatever. Uh, I'm going to give a quick shout out to how shitty credit card companies are. Yeah. Fucking lost my credit card, and I'm trying to cancel the goddamn thing. And they won't let me cancel it because <laughs> I don't know the goddamn number. Why do you not know your number? Oh, the number of the card. Yeah. I don't oh, know that my move? 16 fucking digit credit card number. I was like, yeah. are you kidding me? How many people honestly remember this? She's like, I can't help you, sir. I was like, there's no fucking checks and balances. You guys can't figure this out with my social security card number? Well, once no, they sir. get you, man, they get you. We need the bank that you first got the card from. I'm like, that was like seven years ago. Actually, no, at this point. That's been 10 years. Is it your Cowboys card? No, it's my... I know where I got that card. I would know. I know everything about that card. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, credit cards. You guys suck. But I was at Roscoe's the other day. I had a nice Uber driver drop me off. Roscoe's Ooh. Chicken? Oh, yeah. Pasadena oh, or Hollywood? Pasadena. I, and uh, It's good, right? It was delicious. All you LA people out there, it's a secret. The Pasadena Roscoe's is, is a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Because it's not a staple. It's not a factory. You don't have tons of... Tons of people there all the time. No, there's empty seats in there, which is nice. You don't have to wait in line like you do at Hollywood. Yeah, they put a little extra under your seasoning. They give you a little extra love. But anyway, so my Uber driver dropped me off. He was a Niners fan. Woo! We shot the shit a little bit. Woo! He's like, you like my red car? It's for the Niners. I was like, you like my Dallas Cowboy hat? He's like, fuck your hat. I was like, whatever. He's like, actually, I'm going to come inside with you because Roscoe's looks so delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you guys eat together? No, I, I, I asked uh, my fiance. I said, yo, should this guy come eat with us? She's like, nah. I was like, all right. I was trying to be friendly. I wanted him to. That like, would have been nice. It's just like more community. But anyways, he sat at the table next to us. And then uh, and then when I was cashing out, he saw my Dallas Cowboy credit card because he was right behind me because we used him to Uber back again. He's like, you got a goddamn Dallas Cowboy credit card? I was like, hell yeah. And then he looked behind. He's like, this motherfucker behind you got a Dallas Cowboy credit card? And the black guy behind me is like, hell yeah. And he's started dying. <laughs> he wouldn't got a Niners card. He had to have gotten a Niners card. It was hilarious. <clears throat> but that was my shout out to my weekend. Also, you know, we'll start our, our little bit of football talk. How about them Dallas Cowboys? How about Dak? Prescott, Hall of Famer, future of the NFL, <gasps> Super Bowl winner in the future, seven-time champion of the world. What you guys just witnessed is the uh, the evolution of Cowboys fans. This is, <laughs> that, this is the wave they ride. Is your throat just sore from all that sucking? No, no. It feels you don't like have lockjaw? Really it feels like, uh, my, every, lock like job? it's opened. It it's opened? It's opened now. Yeah, yeah, it's like nothing is clogged. It's all good. We're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to scream. Can't wait to yell. Uh, you guys already given up on Tony? Everyone just moved on. See, we haven't given up on Tony. We love Tony Romo. Tony Romo is our man. But when Tony Romo dies, which I think we all know is a, a great possibility. You mean like for real dies or dies doesn't get in, gets injured? Uh, literally and figuratively. Well, eventually it might happen. Yeah. But he's going to get injured. And when he does, Dak Prescott, Mississippi State, SEC, coming on in to roll tie, baby. Killing them. Get your Cowboys. Get your Cowboys ready. That's a Mississippi State thing, man. Da -da -da -da. What is he? The, what is it? What are they? Mississippi State Bulldogs? Yeah. Whew. I love Bulldogs. Whew. I, I, thought, was... I thought you were an old Miss Rebel. My brother's a Rebel. You like the Cowboys more. Yeah. Cowboys. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. So, yeah, it was great. 
Dude is killing it. And I know it's preseason, but still, there's something said. Because usually all these other bums that we have, like McGee. Remember McGee from AM? Oh, Stephen McGee? Fucking loser. Wow. Or Vaughn, Dustin blast Vaughn. From the past. We have we've had a staple of fucking shit. Remember Drew yeah. Henson? Oh yeah. Drew Henson. Ray we Lucas. Had, we had Matt Moore back in the day. Yeah, I saw him good. get injured in that game. Someone took him out. Oh my god, we killed him. Oh my god, he got nailed. He sat on he the got ground. Nailed. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. <clears throat> Dangerous. Yeah, after that second Cowboys game with, with Dank Prescott, all I could do was wait for ESPN's overreaction headlines. The best was watching Stephen A. Smith. God. Oh. Actually, is my, Dak Prescott the best Cowboys QB ever? Dude, he will RG three lead the Browns to a Super Bowl. Dude, questions like that give him a fucking heart attack. I hate that man. Is Terrell Pryor better than Calvin Johnson? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Terrell Pryor. Let me tell you something, Terrell Pryor. He doesn't know a lick about football, but I do. Oh, oh, Max. I'm going to take your football card away. What, what are you talking about? You're going to take my football card. Your football card has been revoked, Max. Steven so a, heated. So heated. Every time uh, Kat, my fiance, is like, I refuse for, like to allow you to watch this because I can't stand the constant screaming. Oh, yeah. I was like, what am I doing? Slap I stopped me. years ago. Slap I just can't me out do of it. it. I just like to have sports on in the background while I'm doing shit. So Whether it's people yelling or whatever. Yeah, I miss, like, the when they had actual sports, you know, highlights and stuff. Oh, that stopped, like, eight years ago. Yeah. Now, now i got to wake up to ESPN Coast to Coast, some lame-ass guy and some lame-ass girl talking about their top five hockey players from eight years ago. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? I don't give a fuck about that. Give me some fucking highlights and shut up. Shut the fuck up and show me what fucking happened in the goddamn sports world. That's all yeah. I want to know. Yeah, bring back Kenny Mayne. That's that's why all the oh, legends left. You killed all the legends. Dan Patrick. Dan Patrick is now doing some fucking retarded show. Berman or yeah, Berman's still there, and it's sad. Well, back, 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 back. Berman's on his last. Leg. And he went all the way to Canada, where he scored some quaaludes. <laughs> <laughs> he always looks like he's suffering from serious hypertension. Like in the moment, he's like. Argh! You saw that clip that they have on ESPN where they uh, he it was still rolling, but he was like talking about something back in the nineties. It was like, yeah, you just go over to Canada and pay oh, yeah. ludes and then come back over the border. Like, yeah. Wait, what? What did you just say? What, Chris? Are you illegally smuggling in pharmaceuticals from uh, uh, our, our brothers and sisters from the Knoll? You gotta watch out those Canadians, man. Man, tricky motherfuckers. Those people that live beyond the wall. Man. Let's talk a little, little bit about uh, now that I got my Dez. Well, Dez is looking fantastic. Gotta love. Uh, I heard he was concussed, Fuck. sir. He is concussed. It's never good. He is concussed. My boy Le'Veon Bell got one game reduction. I think that's yeah. What is one that about? Game. What the fuck is what, the NFL doing? What did they look at and they're like, oh, you know what? Yeah, we made a slight error. We're gonna take it down to one game. Yeah, it should be none. Well, number, is this is is this this isn't his first this is his first offense. No, it's, or is it? No, he missed drug tests because he changed his cell phone number. But that's why he's been suspended for the three games, right? Yeah, it's a valid excuse because he's on my fantasy team. <laughs> he's my keeper. So because because he got a new phone, that's maybe why they took it down yeah. to three games. It's not like weed's helping these guys play. Weed does not help them play at all. I can attest to this. It actually made me stop playing sports. <laughs> it actually made me completely give up playing sports when I started smoking weed. Kids out there, don't do it. If you want to stop <laughs> playing sports, smoke a shitload of weed. Yeah. yeah, like get into it. If you want to be the esports champion, smoke a shitload smoke of weed. Smoke the shit out of weed. Yeah. This doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, well, how do we consider that a performance enhancing drug? I mean, for football players, they just wanted to take away some. They don't feel very good after those games. They no. hurt. They need a little something. They need something that's not, you know, going to, uh, you know, they don't want to take that Oxycontin. I don't know. That's what, but the other day I saw NBC running. People were playing uh, NBA 2K16 live for like a million dollars on TV. Wow. It wasn't a basketball game. It was five on five NBA 2K17. I was like, where the fuck was this when I was younger? It's really come a long way. I might just become a professional video game player. That's become, cool, right? You should become a Madden player professionally. Ooh, Madden just came out today. 
The new what, just Madden just, 17. Oh, shit, son. Anyone out there wants to get worked? You can join wants our to get league, waxed. motherfucker. All right, so let's, let's go. We, we've talked, we touched on the Cowboys a little bit, but let's go over to the Cleveland Browns. RG3, is he back? Is he his former self? Did he find himself in the shallows and the depths of the water? Did he drag Terrell Pryor from Mariana's Trench back into reality? <laughs> is this your Stephen A? Yeah. Wow, it's pretty good. <laughs> I hate Stephen A, but he's so fun to do. He's about to do. Max Kellerman. Uh, so yeah, what you think? About I, I like Pryor. I like Pryor. It's, it's preseason. I'm not going to overreact. I'm not a Cowboys fan. I don't. Okay, the it's Niners. It's not my fault that inside you're dead. Hey, oh! I think the Niners are two and zero in preseason. It means nothing. It doesn't mean shit. Of course, that doesn't mean anything because the goddamn Niners. Who? Wait, who the they Cowboys? They live beat? in obscurity. We beat the that Super Bowl is blank, champions but. in preseason. You guys beat. The fucking Dolphins. 41 to 14. And the shitty Rams. We gave it to them. Wait, no, you lost to the Rams. Yeah, we gave it to them because it was in L.A. Conkite and Jones met, and they said, Jay Jones, I want to kick your ass in the first half, and then we'll give you the second half all day. I just just don't care about preseason. Other than injuries. and Unless you got Dak Prescott, and then every game's relevant, and everything is perfect again in the world. I mean, if Dak were a 49er right now, I'd be sucking him off, but I wouldn't believe that he was going to do much in the regular season. I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, he'll be a Hall of Famer. He's shown that. Yeah, it's he's, done. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. Like anyone who's doubting that he's not a Hall of Famer just doesn't watch football. They just don't get the sport. His like body that. of work says Woo. it all. Woo. What more does the guy need? 10 or 12 the first game, 12 or 15 the next game. He thrown four. He's run two. He's got six. They were saying like that's more than any of the Cowboys quarterbacks did last year. <laughs> Cowboys' biggest problem is your coach. He's so average. He might even be below average. Yeah, talk about eight and eight. I'm pretty sure that's gonna become his day. Yeah. Fucking vanilla. Yeah, that should be the Jason Garrett day. Throwing a little vanilla with a little cinnamon and paprika, and that's what you get. You Actually, get... take the cinnamon out. Yeah. Leave the paprika in there. Shitty. <laughs> you guys want to eat oatmeal with paprika in it? Pretty fucking sure you don't. So let's get some more preseason overreaction. We have, okay, the Browns. People say RG3 looks all right. Yeah, he does. Again, preseason. I know. We all know it's fucking preseason. Pryor looks legit. I like Pryor. Dude has got a 4 3 3 40. <clears throat> yeah. Where the fuck did that come from? From when he was at Ohio State. He's always had wheels. Man. He should have never really been quarterback. But he burned True Front, Marcus Trufant. He, he did. He did. He did. He separated the fuck away from that boy. And that's a Pro Bowl quarterback from last year, ladies and gentlemen. They could, have, they could have a nasty little receiving core with him, Josh Gordon, and Corey Coleman. Yeah. In Max. fact, teams are trading for Josh Gordon now. Josh They're trying, Gordon. trying to trade for Josh Gordon. Really? Trying to get him. I, I want him. Fuck yeah. Who, who By you, low. What, you want the Niners to take him? They, they almost traded for him a few years ago. Good thing. It was going to be a second round pick. Yeah. Good thing <laughs> they didn't. That worked out well. Um, Corey Coleman, I'd like to see some stuff from him in preseason. There was a lot of rave about him in practices, but I have not seen shit. If I'm the Browns, I wouldn't trade Josh Gordon. Fuck that. No, I need every piece. Every that I can piece get. I can, I need to throw to. Unless it. somebody is going to offer you up some disgustingly amazing, you know, picks or something like that, which they want. Yeah. It's fucking psycho. I mean, he's a risk. He's a risky player. Should we talk about? Uh, I know it's just preseason. But uh, the backup quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers is fucking sick. Landry Jones? Landry Get out of Jones. here. I'm done talking about that. We're moving on. Four interceptions in the first half <laughs> against the Eagles. Him and Ryan Nassib in New York are just dueling it out for the shittiest backup quarterbacks <laughs> I've seen. Who, by the way, have no competition. Both of them are pretty much entrenched. They the are the, they are the backups, and if your quarterback goes out, you guys are so fucked. Like they're not game planning to beat Ryan. They're just playing like a very cookie cutter. That's true. Kind of simplistic kind of defense, and you're throwing four interceptions against that. Wait till they actually game plan you, and they're blitzing you, and they got you fucking psychologically fucked out there. Like, oh my god. I've seen Landry Jones play though. Yeah, he's lost in the offseason. 
he was never that good. Have you seen the movie Space Jam? Yeah. Not to say that he was ever that good. Yeah, he was never good enough to be in Space Jam. <laughs> no, but he got stolen. Yeah, he was better than that last year, but man, he's having a shit tight time. What are you looking forward to this week? I know that I'm looking forward to a little Thursday night football. Any idea? Por qué? Who's playing Thursday night? A little team I like to call America's. <clears throat> America's. Oh, Patriots are playing? Fuck no, and the Patriots. Like, Patriots God, are America's team, not the fucking Cowboys. Tom Until Brady. you guys win something, you're not America's team. This is about winners. We do win. We are we win a country the of number winners. number one sports franchise in the world. Oh, you guys are valued more, yeah. Oh, we're valued more and loved more. The people truly love us. They don't. Whatever. In my opinion, they do. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, what do we what do we got going on? Let's get some more preseason of reactions. All right, I like got I said, Blair Walsh, shitloads of those. We had uh, everyone shitting on Blair Walsh. He's he's one more missed kick away from from kidnapping. What a, did he do now? A quarterback give, and becoming me, a woman. Give, he just missed a a late field goal against the the Seahawks last preseason game, and everyone went ape shit again. He but, missed another one. Yeah, it was preseason. Fuck, it means everything, Spencer. This is everything. How can you hate on Blair Walsh when he's the only motherfucker that scored for the Vikings last year? Granted, the easiest kick he had, he missed. But nobody else on the team even put up a goddamn point. You gonna you talk shit about game? Blair Walsh? In that game? You gonna talk shit about Blair Walsh? How old is Blair Walsh? It's gotta be at least 85. Probably, give or take. Yeah, they, they lost, what was it, 14-12? Bridgewater couldn't do anything. Bridgewater, where's my Louisville love for you, Bridgewater? Yeah, I don't know. I, hopefully, I mean, it's just stuck. I mean, it is preseason, you know. I feel like the only interesting, the only legitimately interesting thing in preseason right now is probably the Broncos QB situation. We have Trevor Simeon, who I call Seaman. Trevor Seaman. Did you give an the official entire, apology? No, here's my official apology. I'm sorry, Trevor. Hit him with it. If you win the job, I'm going to send you a fruit basket. And an apology letter. Because I called you Trevor Seaman for an entire show. Aye. But you, sir, are Trevor Simeon from Northwestern. Just think about that, though. If you if you call him that, you don't even know him. And that's now when he's an NFL quarterback, maybe starting the year. I even watched the guy at Northwestern a few times. I should have remembered that. How many times did he get punked on in middle school? Ooh. Elementary school, high school. That's probably why he had to play quarterback, overcompensate. Dude, he had to overcompensate for the shitty last name. People just like, <laughs> cemented him out. That's kind of sad. It sounds like Sanchez is going to lose that job to one of those two guys. Of course he is. You want to know sad. why? Because he's a bum, son. He's a loser. A perennial fool. He comes out during the day and sucks all the way. What else we got out there? What else happened in the sporting world? Garoppolo looked all right. Yeah, he looked okay. Yeah, he looked good. Texans looked all right. Texans. Will looked Fuller right. looked nice. He did. He looked fast. Boy was running, running hard, running quick. Brock right. didn't look terrible. He strung some things together. How did your Forty ers look? Why don't you tell us about debt? I didn't watch that game. I was at uh, Skrillex pool party in Vegas. No, oh, you bitch. Why don't you give us? Oh, you were in Vegas. That's right. So I, I kind of missed that one. Now, how ratchet crazy was that pool? It was it was very ratchet, very crazy. See a lot Some of Sodom and Gomorrah type shit. It was like Damn a right. pack of wild beasts out there. Dude, if this was going on back pitchers. in the day. $100 pitchers. What a good value, huh? $100. $100 pitchers, baby. Vegas can literally just bend you over. Oh, and, and you the best part is in Vegas, you take it. You, you take love it. it. If you're in your hometown and anyone tries that shit, you will you will take them to the Better Business Bureau. Oh, you'll you, sue their ass. I hit them with the people's elbow in my hometown. In Vegas, you're like, oh, fourteen dollar water? Oh yeah, of course. Fuck you guys, Vegas. What's wrong with you? Why do I love you so much? And why do I love you so much? I'm already planning when I want to go there. I woke up and I was like, I need some Vegas in my life. There, there are ways to to get around it. Lose a bunch of money first, so you get all the free hotel rooms. Boom. <clears throat> then, you still got to pay the resort fees though. It's fucking resort fees. It's an asshole. Oh, we're going to give you a comp stay. Okay. Come down for three days. Uh, you're going to owe us like 90 bucks in resort fees. What the fuck? Yeah. Motherfucker. It's like the PSL of the hotel world. You motherfuckers trying to fuck me always. So I'm going to be real. I did not watch it. Again, I just... Uh, preseason, man. I, I, I saw I, I saw a pick six. I don't give two fucks about preseason, but I do like when you make it interesting, and finally the Cowboys preseason is interesting. 
Like, it's just fun to watch Dak because he's, you know what I mean? He's not very, it's not just like he's handing the ball off. He's like, he's throwing the ball, you know, threw it 60 yards down the field. Sick ass pass this time. Just like chunked it. It was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, caught up by Butler. He's throwing these 25 yard pat, like, you know, shot behind the shoulder. I feel like every pass. touchdown he turns a back shoulder fade. They're, yeah, it's fun. It's yeah. just, it just makes, you know, gives you I mean? something to watch. It does. Root it does. for. Obviously, let's be real. Do I think Dak could easily go into the season and just throw 40 interceptions, no touchdowns? Easy as that. But it's fun. Like, it's, I mean, I'm just saying that he could easily just shit the bed. I just th- I just find it hilarious that Cowboys fans are really? treating him like they're prepared for him to start because they know Romo's going to get injured. Of course he is. That's why everyone's excited. We're just excited to have a fucking backup quarterback that is not Matt Castle that can actually throw a football. Matt Castle, I fucking hate you. Why don't you get, get a coach that can coach a quarterback? Because Jerry Jones refuses to allow any of that to happen. Fair. Jerry You've Jones. already made your bed there. Yeah, it's, we're sleeping in it with him. It's just what it is. Yeah. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> Ever since, well, he, he went and got Parcells a one year. That was nice. Yeah. Parcells is the one who initially coached up Tony Romo. He gave him. He basically built your entire team. He did. It was great. Where? I mean, those were. We went thirteen and three in one of those years in there. Thank God Ware got to a team he could win a Super Bowl Agreed. with. Agreed. I, really I just feel I good mean you kind that. of wish a lot of players could have that kind of ending, but they don't. Jason Witten won't. No, oh, fuck no, he's done. Gonzalez won't. Uh, Gonzalez, you remember Tony? Oh, Gonzalez? Tony G. Tony G. He was awesome. Didn't Calvin he? Johnson. Calvin Johnson didn't even win a playoff game. Sad. That sucks. Yeah. How many does Jason Witten have? Two? Still, it's at least two. Yeah. And at least he was a part of teams that, you know, <clears throat> at least, you know, went to the, the second round of a playoff game because they, you know, they got out of the wild card. Have they not even been to an NFC championship? Uh-uh. We should have, and we got fucked. <laughs> that is hilarious. And Lambo, where else would we be fucked in? The Niners have sucked ass, and they went to three in a row. It's good to yeah, because you, you suck ass now. You were awesome. We were Five terrible right ago. before that. Yeah, but you got a fucking coat. Yeah, you guys should try it in Dallas. No, we do things our way. It's our way or the highway, baby. So, yeah. I mean, I'm going to watch Denver this week. Trevor's getting the the start again. He does. I think Sanchez is done. There, I, We've already seen what he can do, and he's not, he's, he, he's, he does not making a case for why you should keep him around as a starter. Yeah. They're not going to play Lynch. He can't play Lynch yet. Do not. He's a greenhorn. Do he not. looks just like Ibrahimovic, by the way. <laughs> it is creepy. Everyone, go out there and check it out. This fucking guy looks like Ibrahimovic. That's hilarious. Well, the Cowboys... Lynch play- is Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic is, is Lynch. Lynch. What kind of world do I... Einhorn is a man. Einhorn is a man. Uh, Cowboys play the Seahawks Thursday. Which will be nice because you'll get. Don't this. care. You get our starters versus their starters for two quarters. That was my Jay Cutler. That's pretty good. Why would Dallas do that against them? They're going to get injured. We got to see. You got to throw them in at fucking some point. Roma won't play two quarters. The offensive line will. Tyron Smith will. Yeah. Ezekiel will go up against the <laughs> Seattle first. It's cute. This guy, ladies and gentlemen, Spencer Harrison is one of those people that you just kind of feel bad for after a while because it's called jaded. They just don't care anymore. I care. I just they just the, the don't only thing that can happen in preseason anymore. is injuries. Sure, it could happen easy. Dad's just got a concussion. It sucks. It's the way of the world. Tell him what Tony could play Thursday and break his neck. Whatever. But as long as I get to see some ones against some ones, I'm a happy. Man, what do you expect to see? Russell Wilson just carve up? Dude, Russell Wilson got sacked four fucking times last week. That offensive line is shitty. It was shitty last year. He got sacked four times in two quarters. It's the worst. It's they, the worst offensive line in the league. That should scare you if you're a Seattle fan. Yeah, you can only do that so long before he gets injured. Seattle fans, Bingo. the Colts tried that for a while. Ask, hey, Andrew looked pretty sharp in his coming through. because he's the best, man. It's not the best. He's the best. He's the best. No, he ain't. No, he ain't the best. Stand by Andrew Luck, best quarterback. He's awesome, but in the AFC South. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we have those things coming on this weekend. We got some fantasy football drafts coming up. Oh, we got our draft coming up. 
We got a draft. Who are you keeping, in. big guy? We're in a keeper league. Number one, I need you to move it back an hour. What the fuck? We can't. We have people all over. To seven thirty is not killing anybody. We already moved it for you. You are killing. We me. already moved it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the guy that you moved the draft for, and then he comes up with something new to move it for. And this time, it's fucking scuba classes. I paid. $600. Hey, bro, can you move our draft? I'm taking scuba classes. I'm, I'm getting scuba certified for get. Yeah, yeah. Don't. Hate I don't me. know what's dumber, that or paying six hundred dollars to get scuba certified. Well, you have to buy all the equipment, spent, and then it kind of. Aren't you up afraid of fucking time. sharks? Not when you're underwater. You can see them. It's a whole different thing. When you're on top of the water, that's when you get fucked. Okay. That's why you don't like surfing. No. But when I'm underwater, it's different. When you can see them, I mean, shit, that'd be scary. Yeah, but at least I miss seeing you. All right. Yeah. It's different. It's totally different. We had to send our championship belt, ladies and gentlemen. We have a championship belt for our fantasy league. It is fucking dope. It is so dope. It looks like it's like a Ric Flair WWE championship belt. It's got our plaques on it. Little plaques with everyone's name is one. I highly suggest you go out and get it. Where's it from? Fantasyjocks.com. They have these awesome belts. They have trophies. They have rings. They have anything you can want or need as far as like fantasy trophies. Even trophies for the losers. You know, the shame ones. But I highly recommend the belt. The belt's where it's at. And actually, the belt is pretty fucking cool. It's so sick. Especially you just had Summer Slam go down, so you just uh, want my boys watching that, and I walked in, and everybody's carrying around the fucking belts. Well, you got to saw uh, uh, the Irishman McGregor carry his belts around in his press comments. They just look cool. Yeah, there's it nothing just cooler. Adds a special little something. It's got a raptor on your shoulder, like a badass. And you can take it everywhere you go. <clears throat> oh yeah, grocery store, take it to work, go anywhere with it. Yeah, anywhere and everywhere, and everybody like. Just knows that you are a champion. Maybe they don't know what for. But when you got the belt, you are the world. I'm looking up what some of the other games are this week. See if I'm interested. What do we got on the table? Mm, New England, Carolina. I like that. Garoppolo against their defense for a few series. Love it. Oh, okay. Yeah, now that's interesting to you. Okay. I'm not going to let these <laughs> these owners take my money for fucking preseason <laughs> Why are we even playing preseason games? Someone explain that to me. I will explain it Truly, to you. honestly. Because you need to figure out who's making a 52 or three-man roster. You had the whole fucking offseason to do that. Uh, you need to put them up against other players. Why don't you have a development league? Mm, called the Canadian Football League. Mm, not good enough. They have to have a, a certain amount of Canadians. Well, do they really? Yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. It's dumb. That's why it's not all just we guys had, from college. Well, we had Euro football and nobody wanted it. We have no, arena, we have arena football, but nobody wants to watch. I'm not watching that. Are you fucking? Why don't you just have regular football? Not Canadian, not arena. There's only one league. The NFL. Yes. So why do we need four preseason games? I could do it too. You fucking know if a guy's got juice the minute you see him on the field or in the practice field. We know the deal. They make money off this. Shit yes, because they make money off shitty games. They are pretty shitty. Of stuff. shitty, Unless shitty games Dak where Prescott. someone good will get injured. I'm trying to think the last time. There's just been so many. I just, there's not come off the top of my head. I know. There has been. I'm just trying to. I guess it helped the Rams. Trent Green blew his knee out in preseason and Kurt Warner took over. Ooh. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Who else do we have? Tampa Bay, Cleveland. Don't care. A horrible game. Green Bay, San Francisco. Well. Ooh, a little revenge. I always well, love that game, but. Don't care. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. It's the Niners. Blaine Gabbert's already got that job. Unless Kaepernick does something crazy, his arms fatigued. You just watch. This week? You just watch. They're gonna put him on the bench like the the Redskins did RG three and just say, mm, "Don't get hurt," so we don't have to pay you next year. Oh, he's got the RG three. He's gonna get the RG three treatment. Philly, Indianapolis. Detroit, Baltimore. Detroit, well, that sounds awful. It sounds boring as hell. Let's look at week one schedules. Real football? Oh, we start with the real deal. Holy field. We won't make our picks yet, but I just want to see. See what's going we on. got it going on. We know the opening game. Denver. Oh, Carolina. That'll be Carolina, sick. Denver. I think Carolina wins that, to be honest with you. I think Denver wins it. All right. We'll bet on that. I'll bet you on that. All right. We'll see. Depends who's, if, if, uh, Simeon is the starter. It's a lock for Denver. I think Denver's <clears throat> They're in Cam's head. Cam's done. Done. 
No, Cam is not done. Cam is so gonna, done. He is going to. Do you see out. his face at the Super Bowl? Von Miller like crushed his soul. He did. But he took not- it. He ate it, and he crushed it. He did. I'm not denying any of those things. But I told you guys the Broncos were going to win. I never told you they weren't going to win that game. I think you bet on the Panthers. Mm-mm. Oh, you stayed away from it. Smart play. And it was all because of Peyton Manning. Masterful game. He was the best. Really ever. carried the Broncos. <laughs> I right, we got next. And then kiss Papa John. Oh, Bucks fuck. Falcons. He just kept talking about Papa John's. Loser. It was the most loser thing he ever did in his life. Dude, this week one sucks. Kind of weird. I like the Sunday night game. Who is it? Patriots? Cardinals? Cardinals? Oh, I love that. Monday night, Steelers, Redskins, and Rams, Niners. Those are awful games. Uh, no, they're not. Steelers, Redskins? Please. It's a good game. Rams, Niners? Horrible. Great. It's disgusting. Packers, Jaguars? I mean, what? I thought you were supposed to come out with a pop. I thought you were supposed to come out and bamboozle us, fan. Be, be like, here we go. I got We got two decent games out there. You know who is coming out with a pop? College football. Madden 17. College football. Yeah. Filthy. My boy Deshaun Watson. Filthy first week. Actually, no. This first week is what I'm talking about. They killed their schedule. Was it USC, Alabama at Jerry World? Yeah, that's not even that's, like a top five game that weekend. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Man. That's pretty solid. Yeah, Clemson, Auburn? Clemson, Auburn. Clemson is going to run that tail. Sorry. No worry. UCLA, A&M. Love it. a and is going to get a and baby, all rolled. the way. Trevor Knight for Heisman. Rosen is going to go in. I love Rosen, to, to be honest Cal with Field, you. And he's going to roll. Is it in Kyle Field? Yeah. Oh, they're going to have to go in front of 100 Because there's no other way a and can win that game. They can win at home. Yeah, they can win at home. Fucking 100,000 people there screaming their name. Practicing their cheers. While Seattle sends them a check. While Seattle the sends 20th, them a check for that. For the 12th May. I, dude, I love, I like Rosen. I think he's a, he was a badass last year. Yeah, Rosen's a hell of a player. UCLA could do damage I this like year. UCLA more than I like USC. This year, yeah. Every year. Who is their coach? I forgot his name. He was there last year. They I just know, he, promoted him. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you're USC. You can have anyone you fucking want. Oh, they went for the pill popping. Watch you. Watch out. Oh, they didn't get him. No, that's what there was a couple years ago. Yeah. All right, so back to week one. We have Georgia, North Carolina. North Carolina was good last oh, year. Oh, they were great. It's a good game. Georgia's going to wax that ass. Maybe. Actually, I hate the Tar Heels, so yeah. Fuck yeah. Notre Dame at Texas. Texas has just been a complete fucking failure. I have zero faith in Texas. How could you have None. any faith None. in the program? Charlie Strong, you fucking isolated yourself. Texas football coach, high school football coaches hate you. And that's why you saw Baylor and TCU and, and everyone else get talent. Yes, because I, I you, think they're turning around there, but I'm not I'm not buying hopefully it. Hopefully he's just an asshole. He's an arrogant prick. Yeah. And this is what we you got to see from there. I'm sorry, Longhorn What college fans. coaches aren't arrogant pricks? I mean, I mean Saban's pretty bad. I mean, I guess they're all pretty bad, but you can't. The ostracize. nature of the the nature of the institution makes you such a shithead. I feel like you have got to be such. You, you've got to be so easy to talk to with the high school coaches of whatever <laughs> state that you're in. You can't ostracize those guys. You ostracize those guys. Yeah, you're, you're losing those players. Very true. Clemson, Auburn. Ah, love. Clemson, South Carolina. This could be a spot where Clemson pulls a Clemson. What about my Gamecocks? Oh, what they're going to be so bad this year. Awful. Don't even, don't even look, man. I'm serious. <laughs> South Carolina. Why like does the, the old SEC, ball coach leave the us? SC, the SEC East is bad. You've got two teams that could be good, and the rest are garbage. And Tennessee and uh, and Florida, yeah. Tennessee could going to be better. Yeah, I'm not I, buying. I've always liked the Gators. Kansas State at Stanford. There's the whitest game of the week. Oh, God. That's a good one. McCaffrey, Christian McCaffrey. Dude. Love him. Watch He's him. He's going to run. Wow. Had the Heisman stolen from him. He's a white boy, too, huh? Yeah. Weird. He's got that hustle. He's got that flow. The engine. He's got that High hustle. motor guy. Oh, yeah. He you know, like sees the field well. Coachable. Brum. Every other white adjective yeah, you can find well, about well. him. <laughs> Intelligent. Intelligent. Cerebral. He's got a cerebral grain with a real high motor. Deceptively fast as well. <laughs> LSU, Wisconsin in Green Bay. Woo. Ooh. Like that. I love that. 
I love the Bayou, the Bayou Bengals. Oh, that's Tigers all the way. Oh, fuck yeah. You if, they're, if their coach or anyone there could find out how to run an offense that didn't God suck ass, damn. they have more talent than anyone in the country. Always loaded with talent. Always loaded. Defense is always sick. It's like Wisconsin on the other side has always got amazing offensive linemen. They just breed big old white boys. And I'll still never forgive them for uh, that championship game against Alabama. Had the national championship in the Superdome. Had beat Alabama earlier. The Polsters somehow were slobbing the, the SEC, so they got Bama back in the game. And it was the worst national championship ever. The SEC should have been banned for a year from playoffs for that game. It was so bad. God. Damn it. But at least Bama since then. You know, they even got Lane Kiffin. They added some Spock. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. They're playing USC. All my USC people out there. We're in LA. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care what change Alabama's had. They're, they're going to smoke you guys. Too good. They're 10-point favorites. I, your coach, you guys aren't ready for this. You're not ready. You're not, you're not ready. the UC of old. With Pete Carroll, you guys would have would have done fine. You don't got him no more. No. Because you in Texas are shells of yourself. Get it together, USC. You guys have fallen off a cliff, and now you are sinking to the bottom of Mariana. I'm about to let UCLA get better than you. But UCLA is taking the torch. The torch. You, you've really fucked yourselves. Arizona, BYU, and Glendale. Ooh. Meh. Is that Coach Rich Rodriguez over with Arizona? That's Rich Rod. Wildcats. But. When is this? This is next week, right? Yeah, next, next weekend. Week? We're getting ready for college, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Son. Alabama's ranked number one as they should be because to be the man, you got to beat the man. Oh, Woo. man. Write that Woo. down on your wall. Put it into your brain. Woo. Keep repeating it to yourself all day. I love Ooh. it. I can't wait. Monday, we have a Monday night college football game. What? Ole Miss, Florida State. Rebel run, rebel run. Florida State's going to smoke. Done. Probably. End it. But I gotta like Ole Miss. Better talent. I don't, I don't like Ole Miss. They play like they they. Pff. Who is it? Who's the quarterback? Kelly. It's Chad always Kelly? some some bozo. Chad Kelly's great, actually. I was used to Bo Wallace, who would always Fucking just pull Bo, Bo Wallace sucked. at the end. Waste. Even though they kept winning some big games, like beat Alabama. Yeah, that's why I don't twice. like Ole Miss. They'll they'll pull out a good one and then Man. they'll just drop it just as soon as they get hot. Remember when them and Mississippi State were ranked one and two for a week? It was like hell had frozen over. Demon Deck. Prescott. And then they both lost because that's what Mississippi does. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey, still, I think that's a, it's it's pretty awesome that that happened, that they were both the top. They, and they must have been going crazy. In oh, for one one week. It would have been party week. It would have been Vegas and Mississippi yeah. all over. And then reality struck. Oh, yeah, for sure. But the, big, the biggest college football game for me. Houston Cougars. Yes. <laughs> Cougars versus the Sooners, baby. Cougars versus the Sooners. Sooners. The Cougars win. Dude, I love At home. They could run the table and go to the playoffs. That would be amazing. It's big. It's, it's big. Huge. H Town. Isn't their coach is their coach from Alabama or Ohio State? Ohio State. He's good. You gotta love a, a, anybody that lives under the Urban or the Sabes. Yeah. We got an interesting year. There's no uh outside of Clemson. I know Bama's still Bama, but they're kind of getting their shit together. So it's gonna be a good year. You got Michigan and Ohio State. Kind of coming up. It's like the old powers Michigan, are back. Michigan State's always powerful. Yeah. They might be down a little. Dan, who's the coach? D'Antoni? Yeah, D'Antonio. D'Antonio. So it's going to be good. We got football, ladies and gentlemen, literally right around the corner. Yeah, get on the college for the first it's weekend at least. Knock, it's good. Not knocking on your front door. Uh, it's actually the following weekend, but you know. Get it. Okay. Get well, it. They're walking down the street towards you. That's what's going on when they are. What else we got, Spencer? I think we're almost done. I no, think I think, think what we're gonna do is what do you, you want to talk about a little fantasy next week and preseason again? Yeah. I just well, I really need the season to start. We need we actually need real some shit, fucking shit to go down so we can comment. So on we it. can get angry about it. Get real angry or happy. Or I love being happy. Too. Maybe we'll be positive. Yeah, a little happy and a little angry. Yeah, that's what we need. Talk about bets. We can get our bets going. Mm, need that. We, you know, we're gonna set up our phone in here so we can have, you know, call us in the studio. The oh, yeah. cabana number four. So yeah, we've got some uh, emails. We got some interviews coming. We in, have some interviews in coming September. up. September that'll be good for some people. For some peeps, you might like it. Oh, we'll fill you in on the Andrew book, uh, Andrew Luck book club next week too. 
We'll yeah, get we you real good. a couple good. special guests there for you. And not that fake-ass Michael Bennett book club. Don't listen to that. That's stupid. Get out of here. Outliers. Oh, come Malcolm on. Gladwell. Gladwell. Fucking shut up. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fucking losers. Just get the fuck out of here. We're done with you. We're done. We don't need you anymore. No. You're we, bum. We've done it ourselves, you fucking bum. We're moving son. on. All right, motherfuckers. Peace. Peace out.